Yo! Hello my beloved shish lovers! In this video we are going to speak about this beautiful product, Daos, which is going to be really popular soon, I think so. So, let go! So, speaking about Daos, uh, is a product from one of the top uh, YouTubers and the owner of all hookah places in the world, uh, co-founder, I would say, not like the owner of all of them, but the co-founder of this uh, hookah chain, uh, Anton Gevaronsky, or maybe you know him as uh, John Kalyano. So, yeah, uh, this product is from really famous guy, and it's made out of uh, barley, uh, without the liquid nicotine, how the guy is telling uh, us, in my opinion, it's medium high for you. I think it would be high. It really depends how you put it in the bowl. Uh, it has a really small fraction. Let me show you. Again, here we have these plastic things which can help us. And inside, uh, we see the really small fraction, a lot of cells. There is a really lot of cells. And the problem that uh, they have only 25 and 100 grams. And their 25s are kind of strange because maybe they should change the fraction, in my opinion. Because, for example, I'm using 25 grams, so the low gram bowl, uh, like this one. And I couldn't even put it, uh, I put in all the jar which I have, and it's not even uh, in the same uh, level as the uh, edges of the bowl. That's, that's kind of a problem, in my opinion, because if you buy 25 grams, it should be like uh, for any, most of the balls, which are like around 20 grams. And uh, that's a problem because this tobacco, uh, this tobacco is kind of heavy, so it could be like, re it's really 25 grams, no questions about it. But uh, you would need like uh, for a normal ball, for a Turkish type ball, if you want to smoke uh, not uh, like on the same level as the borders of the ball, uh, that you need like one and a half, uh, one and a half jar of those. That's kind of a uh, minus. So basically I recommend it to use uh, really uh, low gram bowls, like really, really small ones where you can use like, I know, 10 grams and it would be enough because this one will really work great or not. Probably I would recommend use Alliance for those. Also it need a really good heating in the beginning. So I recommend it to use 425 charcoal, normal uh, uh, HMD, like a Chinese replica of Lotus. That's really my recommendation here. Um, try to make it fluffy as you can. And also really important, don't forget to mix all the sauce which you have inside of the jar uh, with the leaves itself. So don't uh, miss any aroma and you wouldn't lose your money because it's really important to mix the tobacco inside of the jar before you smoke. So uh, let's go to my personal top three flavors. Uh, it's Lavis, Pala Santa Kashmir and Skittles. Uh, and I'm going to tell you the mixes with them already while I'm uh, describing these aromas. Uh, love is, in my opinion, if you know the gummies uh, love is, then you have C, you can see here, then you can have a great reference. I had one with strawberry, banana and the chewing gum itself. So in my opinion, it's the uh, same thing. So you feel uh, creamy banana, creamy strawberry and kind of chewing gum. Uh, it's really a mass market flavor and in my opinion you need just to smoke it solo. Speaking about the Pala Santa Kashmir, it's again a completely different story. Uh, it was a limited flavor, the guys are saying that they created this aroma themselves, so they were buying these uh, trees, these ones, and were creating aromatics, taking out of oil of the trees and creating aromatics for them. Uh, in my opinion, maybe yes, maybe not, I have no idea, but the aromatic which they created is really great. So you can feel like cashmere here, you can feel a little bit of uh, this tree flavor, it's really interesting. I wouldn't recommend to smoke it solo because uh, there would be too much aromatic for you, but it's great in uh, alcoholic mixes, in tea mixes, uh, maybe for creating uh, chai masala, it would be also a great solution. By the way, I'm drinking it now. Yeah, so for such things, it would, could be a great solution. And the mix which I'm going to tell you uh, w would be a alcoholic mix based on the Pala Santa Kashmir. So it would be 15% Pala Santa Kashmir, uh, whiskey from Bonch around 50%, uh, lemon lime from Tangiers 30%, and 5% ice. 
So it would be like a whiskey sour, uh, but with a lot of spices, which can give it like an Indian flavor to it. You should really uh, try it if you have such opportunity. Last but not least in our uh, top, <laughs> it's Skittles. Uh, if you know the candy Skittles, the pictures here, that stays the same as the red one. It's not really like a green one, which was really sour in my childhood. Uh, there were like uh, kind of some uh, white powder on it, <laughs> which was making it much, 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 much more sour. And that's the reason why I decided to create this green version, just to have a flashback to my childhood. So we're going to take the 70% of the Skittles uh, from uh, those and 30% of Avzal Cherry or Cherry Shock Blackburn or any other Blackburn flavor, but use better, uh, don't use uh, Black Grunt and don't use apple, just kind of lemon one and cherry and maybe anana, uh, pineapple would work here, but not otherwise. Uh, and how you should do it, you should put on the down layer uh, the Skittles and on the top uh, as the sour part, uh, there would be a Abzal cherry or blackburn shock uh, line. So you will really feel the sourness of the mix and also the Skittles itself. Yeah, and as always, I should remind you that in the description you can find an ocean file uh, with my uh, personal opinion on every flavor. For example, uh, there is a Deus Dark Side flavor. <laughs> if you know the company Dark Side, the video is somewhere here. And Anton really liked to work with them and he worked with them really a lot before he started his uh, own product and they had a collaboration between Deus and Darkseid. So Darkseid created a flavor which names Deus, it was uh, whiskey and Deus created a flavor Darkseid. It should be like you see picture here, uh, like cookie kurabia, so it's kind of a sandy cookie with some kind of uh, berry jam. Uh, in my opinion, uh, it's just uh, really good cookies, uh, kind of, <laughs> I would say they kind of really vanilla cookies, uh, with berries somewhere there on the background. Also, from interesting flavors, I would, could also manage uh, Guinness, uh, which I smoked a few days ago, but in my opinion, it's not Guinness, it's just kind of, arom kind of aromatic of Guinness, and that's in my personal not really top tier of the devils but somewhere maybe in uh, E tier or D tier maybe okay not so bad C tier C tier yeah and you can find uh, all the description of the all flavors in the notion uh, down in the description of the video so please don't forget to subscribe for the channel click the like button and write in the comments have you ever tried Deus and heard about Anton Gaivaronsky or John Caliano? Don't forget to click uh, the bell button to not miss our new videos. Have a nice day and bye!